With still no word from the North Korean government, China's Long Dan again urged all sides to come to the bargain. We have now a late response by Admiral Toshiro Otomo of the Japanese ISDF. Despite the ambassador's efforts, nothing has changed. The Japanese people must continue to endure harassment and humiliation. We eagerly anticipate the arrival of the... Hey, I hate you leaving us. Get back from Panama. 18 runs, sir. We have a few loose ends to tie off before we can rejoin. Well, you can make it back for the 4th of July. I'll show you one heck of a good time, boy. Wouldn't miss it for the world. Fisher, the arms that Lacerda had were purchased by someone using a Panamanian offshore bank as a proxy. I want to take a peek inside their records. Unfortunately, it's not as simple as that. This op can't look like a U.S. intelligence gig. So to cover it up, you'll need to crack the bank's vault and lift some bearer bonds. Property of the French government. I hit the bank's servers last night, but I didn't find much. All their workstations run drivers for plug-and-play hard drives. I'm guessing they secure them physically every night. Crazy world we live in where electronic intrusion is more of a threat than physical intrusion. Anyway, they probably store the drives in the main vault, meaning they're not going to be easy to get a hold of. First, the good news. You've been in this bank before. You were part of a CIA raiding team that went in in 89 looking for some of Noriega's drug money. Most of the intelligence we have on the bank actually comes from your team. The bad news is that we have a lot of physical security. Lasers, motion sensors, locked doors, cameras, the whole lot. And none of it was there in 89. We've also contacted a, a specialist to help crack the vault. You better talk to him. Look, I don't know who you are or why I'm helping you, other than it's better than staring at the ceiling of Marcel. I hear you have to face some Mason Wells 88. Well, it ain't a one-man job, but they tell me you can do the work of five men. Fine, I says. I had your mate Willie make a little deposit for you. You'll be needing some things from a safety deposit box in the little vault that we can use to crack the main one. We'll continue on our course for the Yellow Sea and send you back by helicopter to Panama City. I have no authorization to act inside Panamanian borders, so you'll be operating covertly out of the embassy. You and your partner will be on your own in Panama. Hey, Emilio, did you see these new motion sensing lights? No. What do they do? When they detect movement, the light turns on. That's... that's amazing. Like magic. I think... I'm going to get one of those from my garage. Imagine that, you pull up in your car at night, and the driveway lights up automatically. Ha! <laughs> You're crazy. This is high-tech stuff, Emilio. It probably costs thousands of dollars. Hmm. See, you're probably right. I could never afford it. Tell me something about your security systems. Ah! Oh, okay. We have motion sensors out here, newly installed. Motion sensors? See, they turn on the lights. Oh, no alarms, just lights. Like for your garage. Uh, no for my garage. Are you kidding? Those things are expensive. High tech. Uh, yeah, whatever. I swear. The motion sensors are not connected to alarms. Fisher, I just synced your offset with intelligence on the bank that you and your team gathered back in 89. Ah, uh, the memories. Yeah. Judging from your report, sounds like it was quite a vacation. It was, actually. I spent most of the rest of that year sleeping in a ditch on the road between Baghdad and Kuwait. Oh, well. If it's any consolation, I had a bad year that year, too. What? You weren't working for the government during the Gulf War? No. I was in 10th grade. They say that. Oh, right. Yuck. That's what they said. So, so what, are they just going to die up there? That's what it looks like. That's horrible. I'll say. Ah! <laughs> 
I can definitely see something. Show yourself! Not a threat. I'm serious, Sam. Too many alarms and you'll have the whole Panamanian army after you. That's a relief. Our installer seems to be compatible with their local OS. That's it? Just plug and play? That's the idea. No fuss. Get all eight of those forged mails uploaded. Make the robbery look like an inside job. Exactly. of a work order here that the bank filed with their insurance company. It says the dome windows over the lobby are magnetically locked. See if you can find a breaker or junction box up here and power down the locks. Right. Shut down the magnetic locks on the windows. Hey, wait a minute. Power spike. The lobby. It looks like a laser grid just came online. Lasers. Lasers are so... 90s? I was gonna say 70s. Can you please stop making me feel old? Got bad news for you, Sam. You are old. Fisher, here's our advisor. He'll walk you through the steps that'll get you into that vault. Be patient with him. Oh. 
He's one of those. Right. Hello? Is this thing on, then? It's on. I'm here. Have you been briefed? Whatever. This is the Mason Wells 88. Each one is unique. You want to get a butcher's up this girl's skirt. First thing you need to do is authorize an opening. How do I do that? The bank president and the treasurer will each have an authorization lock in their office. There'll be another one in the security office. You need to disable all three. Okay. Maintains an overnight float of of a thousand Balboas. I'm not interested in petty cash. You'll never crack the main vault. It's impregnable. Then you won't mind if I try. No, no of course. You're the boss. Whatever you say. What can you do to help me? The retinal scanner here. I can unlock it. That's very kind of you. I wish you luck with the vault. I wish you luck with the vault. for a Panamanian army service concert. Oh, no mistake. The quality of the uniforms is exemplary. They'll never wear out. So? Well, they're about five degrees hotter, they weigh eight ounces more, they don't breathe at all, and they're itchy. Well, it doesn't sound like a very good business move to me. Why would the Americans do that? From a business perspective, it's a terrible move. But let me ask you something. This isn't supposed to work like this, is it? Someone's hacked it! Hacked it? Who would have done that? Who's been leaving the doors wide open? What? You think we've got an intruder? You're way too paranoid. That time I'm sure I see something. See, be on your... Hopefully just another false alarm. But there's no such thing as being too careful. Turn the damn lights on! You're closer to the switch. Could we just get the damn lights on? something interesting. The security cameras. The system is centralized. There's a main camera room 
You you can access the cameras from there. Where? Second floor. I told you about the camera room. Thank God, there is nothing. Hey, I hear that. Back off. Next. like more lasers ahead, Sam. This whole place is singing with photons. There's a guard who seems to be walking around here, no problem. Maybe he has some kind of beacon. Get close and you can stay in his electronic shadow. That's a neat trick you do with the lasers. Okay? What? Oh, the grids. They detect some kind of signal emitted by a transmitter stitched into my uniform. Give me the transmitter. I don't know where it is. I swear. It's just stitched into my uniform somewhere. Hmm. That's bad news for you. Because I still need to get past the lasers. And since I don't want to undress you, that means I have to take your body. My body? You... You mean my unconscious body? I hope... Either way works for me. Nothing here. Looks like I'm being overcautious. Yeah, 
Well, can't hurt to take a look around. Are you okay? Am I seeing things? Come on, we can settle these like men! Are there any other ways in or out of this room that you might want to tell me about? Uh, uh, birds? Birds? What do you mean, birds? The vents above the fan. I think they lead outside. I can hear birds nesting in them. Well, that is useful information. Does that mean I get to leave? Let me think about it. I don't know anything else. I don't know anything. Back to security authorization. Two more to go. That's half of the forged mail, Sam. Four more to go. Thanks. I've always found it hard to count past three. No need to be smarmy, Sam. Good thinking, Fisher. Now even if you're caught on camera, they won't be able to ID you.
Chinese ambassador to the United States, Long Dan, was recalled to China today for an emergency meeting with government officials regarding ongoing problems between Korea and Japan. Long Dan is expected to renew his efforts to bring Korean, U.S., and Japanese delegates to the bargaining table. Dan. Two down. Now just authorize from the treasurer's office. It just keeps getting worse. Please uh, keep it together. Keep it together. about I've been working here for two years prove it prove it uh, okay well the key code to the back doors it hey wait a minute you're trying to trick me you're the one who's not supposed to be here all right you caught me I surrender oh wait instead how about you tell me the key code anyway and I won't be forced to hurt you oh well since you put it that way the code is 3901. Thanks. Authorization done. The outer cage of the vault should be opening as we speak. Great. 
Just inside the cage, there's a small vault full of safety bombs. You may drop off some kit for you in one of them. All right, I'll let in you know sports, where I'm there. Pitcher Akira Watanabe arrived in New York yesterday for his first practice with his new team. After a full day of evaluations, head pitching coach Matthew Furland stated that Watanabe was, quote, easily the best baseball pitcher ever. There. Show you, I can hear you. Sam, it's Will. Turtle said one of these boxes had some equipment in it. Chest level, right hand side, number 1024. It looks like Lacerda's Panamanian contact is Senor Segundo Ruiz de Medieros, Vice President of Panama Canal Administration. Is that where I'm going next? No. Lacerda's side dealings are a whole nother can of worms. I'll send someone else down that trail. Someone else? Do I detect a bit of jealousy, Sam? I get over it. Careful with that gear. What is all this stuff? It charges it for the vault, and the other thing of me, Bob, is a telemetric lockpick. A telemetric lockpick? Head down to the main vault. We'll walk you through it there. All right, next you need to pop both of these locks at the same time. That's what the telemetric pick is for. Exactly. It reads your movements in one lock and mimics them in the other lock, real time. You guys use some cool toys. Right. Now, once you get the feel for each pin, you have to wait a second for the telemetric pick to sync up. Once it beats, Bob's your uncle, you can pick the pin and move to the next one. Don't try and pick a pin before you're in sync, or you'll have to restart. Right. Gimme. Mm -hmm. Come on. over the main pins. Once they're all in place, well, I'm sure you can figure it out. And open sesame. Sam, you're in. Great work. Sam, get in there and find those hard drives.
Great work, Fisher. Now any investigation into the robbery will only point back at the investigators. So the Panamanian government will end up sending some innocent banker to prison? Innocent, if you don't count providing arms to revolutionaries. Oh, right, I forgot. Bankers. Easy. Good job, Fisher. Now the whole mission will look like a robbery. You never know why we were here. Lambert, now that I'm holding 50 million bucks, I think we need to talk about that raise again. Mm. 25 cents an hour and not a penny more. Deal. Oops. Damn! What happened? Lasers! Inside the vault door! What? How was I supposed to know? Cut the chatter, people. Fisher, you've dealt with the armed response. Complete your objectives. You got it. All right, Fisher, that's all we need. Time to make yourself scarce. Go to the nearest extraction point. On my way.